what's up guys it's uh, oscar the truck guy here uh we're back with some more content i know i haven't kept you guys posted up uh i've been busy doing some uh motor swaps finishing up the uh brown gmc sierra square body but uh for now i got a new stick to record so I always get that in the way, but for now i just have the uh gmc washed up and i'll give you guys a little, quick little tour of it and like I said uh, in my previous videos, this one's going to be for sale, so uh, don't be too late to jump on it. It'll probably won't last long. The prices on these square bodies are going nuts. These things are blowing up right now. And uh, honestly, a clean short bed has not been posted for sale in a while. That's cheap, of course. Uh, I think the cheapest one is like 10 grand, and that thing's all rusted out, at least on Marketplace around me. rusted out needs a new paint job needs a motor something like little things like that for 10 grand is crazy but hey i'm trying to make some money too so here's the truck to got it washed up as you guys saw i uh we did the emblems those are the original emblems original uh, rims with the uh, hubcaps the bed is a little bit dirty still I need to wash that but we've get, been getting rain here late monsoon here in Arizona as you guys can see so probably gonna have to wash it again in a week and there's a little sneak peek of uh, our next video we are doing a motor swap. Got both the motors out there. I'll talk more about that here in a sec. Let me just finish up. Brand new trim as you guys can see. And the interior just got done up. This is one of the uh, only trucks that I've ever had that actually has like the work working dome light. Like, wow, that's crazy. But this one has, you know, brand new horn button, brand new dash bezel. I did order a brand new dash, it came in cracked so I returned that, hopefully I get a better one in the coming week. Upholstered seat, I did the door panels with the uh, carpet down there. Back here looks clean too, it's not all crazy dirty like every other square body that I've seen for sale. This truck honestly is ready to be a show truck. I don't want to drop it because I get a lot of people hating on drop trucks. So, hey, if it makes me sell this faster, good. Because I don't want to drop it. It's just another expense that I don't want to have. Dual gas tanks. The uh, engine bay is still getting a little bit work done. So I didn't show that in the video. But I will show that in our next video for sure but yeah there you guys have it my gmc sierra 1500 sierra classic short bed dual tanks 350 engine 700r4 transmission those 700r4 transmissions are gas savers compared to the th350s But yeah, there's a quick intro on it. I'll definitely do a more in detail video once I get the uh, engine figured out. Not the engine figured out, but the engine cleaned up and get the uh, dash in. That's it for that one. I uh, do have the uh, 1977 uh, C10 that I bought with the uh, bad motor sitting over here. And uh, I've been trying to work on that slowly, but uh, it still needs a lot of work. So um, as long as I get this uh, brown truck out of here and get some money for it, I've been looking for a car. I've honestly gotten into the JDM stuff hardcore, so I really want a R32 Skyline. Uh, but if that's not possible, I'd settle for a Corvette because I have been daily driving my uh, 81 C10 to work and back, and that thing takes like $60 every week. Not every week, every fill-up. And I've been filling up like twice a week, so that's 
taking a big chunk out of my pocket. But seriously, the 77 to 10 that we've been working on. We've got the engines out here. Boom. Boom. It was a little bit easier than I expected to take out the engine. But then again, I have done it before. I did swap the engine out of the um, 81T10 over there. So yeah, but here's a quick look at the um, 1977T10 short bed. It's got the bumper off, obviously. It's got both of them off. It's been working on it slowly. It's more of a brother project. Me and my little brother have been working on this one. So yeah, but uh, thanks for tuning in guys and uh, I'll make sure to keep posting. I haven't been doing very well about that, but I will try to keep you guys posted up. And like I said, uh, you guys follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you don't, my personal one is Oscar the Truck Guy. My uh, truck page is Alamia Rides, A-L-A-M-I-L-L-A -L 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 -A underscore R-I-D-E-Z. And uh, this one's, this uh, brown one's going to be up for sale pretty soon. And like I said, you don't want to wait on it. Uh, it being a GMC, being a short bed, and being rust-free Arizona truck, it won't be on the market for long. Uh, so my plan right now is to ask 20k for it. Of course, that's the uh, starting, I obviously uh, consider offers or trades, like I said, for cars that, uh, that I want. But yeah, so... Uh, Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned.